Okay people, this is himself. Welcome back to another Tekken 7 Dragunov guide. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Dragunov's war game. This is going to include splatting moves, combos and war bounce. I'm also going to show you a 100 plus damage combo related to this subject, so stick around for that. So Dragunov has a collection of splatting moves, but here are the ones that stand out. The first is Wire Running 2. On hit, this will splat, but on block, it's still plus 6, so you can carry on pressuring. D2 is your go to low, but for a mid, go for back 4-3. This is a natural combo and it's safe. But the second hit is high and it can be sidestepped. The second is FF3. This is to complement Y running 2. It's slow at 22 frames and it's high, but it's fully homing and it's plus 5 on block. Again, D2 is your go-to low, but for an uninterruptible mid, go for DF1. This can be sidestepped, but it's safe on block. It also has an extension, and since this is minus 7, it can be used to set up a reversal. Now if you're interested in that, then I already did a video covering it, so if you want to see it, there's a card in the corner and a link in the description. The only problem is that it can be ducked, but I count it, it's guaranteed and you may be able to confirm it. Third option is up 4-3, this is when you're close up. Now what makes this good is the frames and the properties. On block it's minus 7, but because of the animation, people will think it's punishable. So when they go to do that, you can duck and punish yourself. The only problem is the shoulder is minus 14, and while standing 1-2 doesn't jail. Fourth option is back plus 3, this is a 14 frame punisher and it's safe on block. The only problem is that it's high and it's a bit off axis, so it doesn't always splat. Fifth option is 1 plus 2, this is a power crush. You can use it when you expect retaliation. The only problem is that it's minus 14. The sixth option is 1 2 1. This is also minus 14, so it doesn't seem too good. But what makes it stand out is that it's a count hits combo. One way to set this up is back 4-2-1. The last hit is plus 1 on block and most people don't realise it. So when they go to attack, 1-2-1 gets them splatted. The only downside is that you can't confirm it. The seventh option is F1 plus 2. This is for long range punishment and pretty much nothing else. For combos, you also have a range of options. The first one is this, 3-1, DF2 roll dash and then 1 plus 2. This I believe does the most damage. The only problem is the cross up. Because the opponent ends up behind you, you lose wall pressure. Now you can go for a back 10 D3, but this can be blocked and I couldn't find a cover for it. Second option is this, back plus 2 while standing 1 plus 2. This I think does the second best damage and it keeps them by the wall. The only problem is that sometimes you still get the cross up. The third option is this, down back 2 1 2. Now normally this only does 19 damage, but what you can do is delay the last hit. That will make it hit grounded so you do more damage. It also gives the flip over so they can't quick back roll. From here, do this backdash into D2. This is all options apart from tech rollers who crouch. To cover that, backdash into back 1 plus 2. This will hit those guys and beat out wake up kicks. Sadly though, it whiffs against people staying down and standards and back crawlers can block it. A third option is backdash into tackle. This will reach tech crawlers, standards and back crawlers. It also beats out wake up kicks. Now I will be covering this in more detail in the future, so if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe. The last option is the stomp. This whiffs against tech rollers, but if they do anything else, it's the best damage. Fourth wall combo is down for 1 3. This is when they're low on the wall. It's also his best wall break and balcony break option. Fifth wall combo is 1 3 2. This gives us a flip over spike and they can't tech roll. What they can do though is quick back roll. 
but that puts us at plus 20. From here, the best option is D2. This can be blocked by quick back rollers, but it hits everything else. To cover that, use FF4. This is everything but quick back roll, and it's also safe. Sixth wall combo is back for two. This does the least damage, but it gives a true spike, so they can't tech roll or quick back roll. The best follow up is D2. This is all options apart from recovery kick and spring kick. Standards and back rollers can also block it. To cover that, use back one plus two. This whiffs against side rollers and staying down, but it's plus frames on block and it still beats out wake up kicks. Sadly, recovery kick and spring kick beat him. To negate that, use up forward 4. This is safe, but it crushes the recovery kick. It also beats out wake up kicks. For wall bounce, Dragunov has two options. The first is while standing 1 3. This is a 12 frame punisher and it does good damage. But it's also minus 15, so you do need to be careful. The other option is while standing 3. This is 16 frames, but it's minus 9 on block. Now once you get the bounce, there are a couple of options. At short range, use 4-1. This is good damage, keeps the opponent high, and it moves you forward. It also allows you to add on a standing 4 at the wall. An alternative is DF-1-4. This does slightly more damage, but it doesn't allow for the standing 4. If you're slightly further out, go for F24. The knee flips them over and it keeps them high. An alternative is F443. This does more damage and is good when you're further out. The optimal combo though is Roll Dash 2 into Roll Dash 1 plus 2. This requires the right spacing, but it does the most damage. For wall breaks and balcony breaks, you have two routes. If you're breaking early in a combo, go for while standing 1 plus 2. This does the best damage and it allows you to tailspin afterwards. If you're breaking late in the combo, then go for D413. This does the most damage before the break, and then you can end with the shoulder. For floor breaks, the most stable combo is this. 4-3, into 4-4, into shoulder. Now you may be able to get an alternative ender using up forward 4, but I found it to be a bit iffy. For rage, I found a simple rage art to be the best, but if you think you're out of range, you could go for a rage drive into stomp. Putting all that together is possible to do over 100 damage. Now if you enjoyed this video, do give it a like. It really helps out this channel and it motivates me to do more for this character. Looking ahead, there are more Dragon Love guys coming, so make sure you subscribe if you want to see those. In the meantime, have fun, play well, and I'll see you guys in the future.